My name is Kinga and I work for Cadventure, Celebri's Platinum Partner. I'm a business development executive and I specialise in Celebri. So today I'd like to talk to you about Celebri Anywhere. So just to have a look as to how they all differ, Celebri Anywhere allows you to view IFC models, combine IFC models by the process called Federation, it allows you to comment some issue by creating markups, you can highlight some issues and exchange them with a BCF connector. You can also use classifications to view your model. What um, Celebri site has also on offer is creating classifications, taking off um, quantities or any information. Celebri office on top of that allows you to check your models and customize rules to run your class detection. And finally, Celebri Enterprise allows you to use an auto run and scale users flexibly. In here, in the recent tab, you have all the recent models that you've been working on. For the sake of today's presentation, I'm going to open up a Celebri building. The file is loading and opening, so hopefully it won't take too long. There we go. The first window there we're faced with is the Ensure Model Disciplines and Categories window. What this allows us to do is to select which discipline we are. So if you click here, you can choose whichever discipline describes you best. So Libri guesses which discipline you are based on a file that you have uploaded. So this is the interface of Celebri and some of you may be familiar with it. So first of all, Celebri Anywhere allows you to have access to the model tab just here in the top corner of Celebri. So what this allows you to do is look around the model, view, zoom in and do certain markups. It's got loads of tools that you can use and now I'll take you through them one by one. So first of all, um, we've got a model tree window here. If you expand this all the way down, you can view only selected floors. If you, for example, press first floor and roof while keeping control key on and you press the equal button, it will be put into your selection basket. And then we have your roof and your first floor. If you're going to revert back to the normal default view of the model, press this icon here, the two cubes, one is black and one is brown. There are loads of different ways to explore your initial IFC model. Just here, if you press down on the drop down menu, you've got pan, spin, walk and game. So pan is best to use with your arrows and your keyboard. And this is the way of you to manipulate the model and walk around it. Spin, you can of course spin the model, you can view it from all different sorts of angles. Walk. That's it. And then we've got game, which is quite interesting because you can use a game console to walk around the, the model. So the first, there's a couple of tools that I'd like to show you. They're all here in the drop down menu and those are the shortcuts that you can use. So starting off with info, whichever part of the model you click on, it will show you all the information we have about that certain part. So for example, if we click on this window here at the bottom in your info tab, you get loads of different information. For example, what layer it is, as well as relations, which even will tell you what the nearest spaces are. So whatever you click on, it will just show you all sorts of different information and it will change according to every um, object you click on. Next tool that I'd like to show you is a tool called hide. Whatever object you click on, it's hidden. That is what the tool does, it allows you to be able to see inside the building. Next tool that I'd like to show you is markup. You can highlight objects, make comments, insert pictures, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's use the pen tool and highlight this window. And let's add a comment next to it saying that this window is too big. Got it there already. You can make that as big as you want and let's add an arrow. What's amazing is, like I've just demonstrated, if you spin the model, the markups stay stuck to the Another um, useful tool in terms of marking up is inserting a picture. If we click anywhere on the model, you'll be able to select an image. Let's open it up. And let's open up our logo. And I'd like it to be 200 millimeters where you can make it as big or small as you want. Of course, that 200 millimeters is relative to the size of your model. However, you can always enlarge it onto the model. Just like with any other markups, the picture that you put on will also stay stuck to the model, regardless of whether you spin, move or modify your model. There we go. And let's revert back to our default view of the model. 
Next rule that I'd like to talk to you about is dimension. So if you click on this window and you click on the other side of the window, it will show you that there is precisely 600 millimeters in between one and the other. Let's see how much there is from this point to this point, 2.48 meters. The next tool that I'd like to show you will be our sectioning tool. Before we continue, let's just get revert our model back to default. So what sectioning does is allows you to section and essentially slice the model. What it does is allows you to create section panes. So if we click on a flat surface here, you create a section pane. By pressing shift and scrolling your mouse backwards and forwards, you slice the building, which then allows you to be able to see inside. So if we go back to this, we can add a couple of different section panes at the same time. See, so keeping our first one we chose, I will hold this one as well, and one more, and then one more from the back. So now, once again, if you hold the shift key and scroll your mouse backwards and forwards, you will slice the model from all four section panes, which then allows you to see right through from every angle that you chose. And the final tool in here I'd like to talk to you about is the transparent tool. So as opposed to the hide tool, what transparent tool does is whenever you click on an object, it goes transparent. So how it's different from hide, that if you do zoom in really closely, you are able to still see through those, but you will be aware of the fact that there is something in your way. You can see, still see the boundaries of the object. Another object that I'd like to talk to you about is the cube with the drop down menu here. So for example, if you want to get rid of all the windows, you don't have to go into here and press hide and hide every window by clicking on one of them one by one. What you can do is open the drop down menu and hide all the windows. Or for example, you can even hide the roof to be able to have a bird's eye view into the model. To revert to back, go back and show roof. Here you've just got a couple of navigation keys. This takes you to your default view, which is that. You can zoom in as a mouth course. And this here allows you to have a slightly different perspective of your model. So today I've had a chance to show you all the main features of Salubri Anywhere, all the tools within it and how it differs from Salubri Office, Site and Enterprise. If you've got any questions, if you've got any future recommendations for videos, please leave it down in the comments below. Feel free to go on our website, drop us an email, give me a phone call if you'd like to discuss any of that further. We've got loads more content coming up. Stay tuned for loads more videos and I'll speak to you soon.